Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin Mack and today we're talking about building a window ledge plant shelf. Hi, a lot of things have happened since I last posted a video on this platform and since I actually filmed the video that you're watching. Um, I know I don't have a lot of subscribers, but the few who do watch my videos, I just want to let you know where I stand. And one, Black Lives Matter to wear a mask. Uh, I'll link some resources in the description below. And that's really all I'm gonna say on the matter because my little white girl voice is not the one to be amplified right now. Okay, back to the video. Today we're talking about building a window ledge plant shelf. I love plants. I have a lot of them. They're pretty much all around my apartment. I collect them, I love them, I talk to them. It's not weird. <sighs> The best light comes from our big window by our kitchen table. We have cactuses and succulents all on that ledge. I wanted to build a window ledge plant shelf because our succulents and our cactuses are growing. They're happy here and those pots no longer fit on the windowsill. So we wanted to build a plant shelf so we could have all of our plants happy and healthy on the same sill. Plus I was noticing some early signs of water damage and since we rent our place, it's not really a good thing. Well, it's never a good thing, but can't really do anything about water damage when we leave. So I wanted to get rid of that. We put our masks on and went to our local hardware slash nursery to pick up some supplies. My main advice is to measure everything. Measure the sill, the depth, the length, angle of the sill from the wall so you get your brackets right. Just measure everything. We picked up a long enough piece of wood and the depth was right and a couple of L brackets. I already had some wood stain at home left over from a project and we were just gonna use that to save money. Our only problem is we don't have a car, so we had to walk back with all of our supplies. Uh, big thanks to my husband, Mitch, because that is pretty impressive. He walked all the way back with that huge, heavy piece of wood. Didn't mean for that to be an innuendo, but here we are. I didn't make him do it. He wanted to do it too. He likes plants. It's like our hobby. It's our thing. Once we got back, I cleaned off the sill and Mitch sanded down the board. Uh, we realized that there was so much dust flying around that we had to get our masks on. Please do that and be safe and healthy. Not only when you're sanding, but when you're outside. After the sill was clean and the wood was sanded down and soft, there weren't any splinters or anything, we went ahead and stained it. Now I recommend letting the stain dry for 24 hours. Remember that I said that. Then we measured out where we wanted the L brackets on the windowsill and we drilled little pilot holes uh, to make screwing the screws in easier. Y'all, find studs, find studs in your wall. Don't be like us where we are just like willy-nilly with our drilling because then you hit stuff and break your drill off. Don't be like me. You can tell it's a fiasco by the way my hair is in that last clip. <laughs> well, something's always gotta go wrong. I look great. Beauty is on the inside. Once we figured all that out, we put the board on and we drilled some screws into it to secure everything down. The reason why we didn't find studs or use anchors into the wall, because the sill is holding up the majority of the weight of the shelf. And so the brackets are just there so it doesn't topple over or slide down. You see, we're in the same clothes. We did not wait 24 hours to put the board onto the sill because one, my husband and I were kind of impatient and we did not stain the underneath so it, it wasn't gonna like discolor the paint on the sill. Like I said, I recommend waiting 24 hours. <laughs> if you want this to be waterproof, use a, a sealant or use little plates that go under your pots because you know those pots need to have holes in them. Don't kill your plants by getting pots that don't have holes in them please. Now we decorate with plants. My favorite part. And 
now, the reveal. Now we have a window ledge plant shelf. Look how cute it is. Aww. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more content of me struggling through projects and basically life. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.